If you want to increase the impact and influence you're having in the world and therefore be ready and open to receiving greater income, then you've got to make the right decisions at the right time. That's why in this video, I'm going to share with you the phases of a business or a movement so you can pinpoint where you're at and what your next steps are to 10 times in your growth, to 10 times in your impact, and to 10 times in your influence in this world. Hi, my name is Nikola Daz, and I help men master their S3X energy and 10 times their impact and income. Now, when I say income, yes, I'm talking about money, but I'm also talking about the incoming effect of your action, the karmic reaction that you're consciously going to create through this process. Everything in this world is action and reaction. So therefore, if you want to shift the result you're having, whether you want to shift it in your finances, your relationship, your sex life, your anything, any aspect of your life, you have to shift the actions that you're taking. And it's sometimes difficult to tell what action you should take right now. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take you through the phases of a business. I'm going to take you through the different points in which you should look out for, like what are the pitfalls in that phase and what are the things you should focus on depending on what phase you're in. Now, if you're ready to take the next steps with me, there is a link below where you can book a direct call with me. If you've got a business or you've got a movement or a business idea that you want to see come into fruition and make a ton of money and impact at it, then go ahead and book a free call with me. There's also the free sex transmutation guide, which you could take advantage of to learn more about transmutation and how that's going to help you unleash your masculine leadership. So I've got... Um, this quick board, and of course, we'll, we'll put it in the notes, of the different phases of a business, the different phases of a movement. The first one is idea creation. So this is generally where you're feeling very inspired. You're like, yes, I've got a great idea for a business or the way that you're going to impact the world. You've got some mission or vision that's been implanted in your mind or that's stirring from your heart. There's a lot of excitement, there's a lot of possibility, there's a lot of dreaming. And in this portion of time, you want to start to write down your ideas and get clarity. Inside my leadership development program, inside Pillar 1, the first thing every guy does that, that when they work with me is get very clear on their vision and their mission. This part is the foundation, so it's not like you leave each step, but it's building blocks. You build one on top of the other, and this becomes your system. This becomes your business. This becomes the way that you're going to interact in the world. If you don't have a very clear mission and vision, you're essentially part of the 97% of people who have never written down their goals, who don't review those goals daily, and therefore are drifters in life. Why are they drifters? They're drifters because they have no North Star. Imagine that you were going to sail out, uh, you know, you're leaving the port in Portugal and you know that you're coming to Canada or you're going to Canada. You have a very specific direction. You have a very specific plan of action to take you from Portugal to Canada. But let's say you leave the port. And you have no specific direction. You have no place you're going. You don't know where you want to end up. Good chances are you're never even going to get out the port because you're not going to have motivation to leave. And if you happen to get out the port, every wind, every storm that comes is going to take you off course. And that's most people. Because they don't have a vision and a mission, they haven't decided who they are being in this world and what they want. Just whatever comes their way, they go with. That's why millions and millions of people right now are sitting at jobs that they hate. They're in relationships they hate. They're in neighborhoods that they hate. They don't like their life. And they don't realize that it all came from the fact that they never decided who they want to be or where they want to go. So therefore, they're like animals. They're just chasing whatever sense pleasure comes next rather than deciding what's for them. That's why this part is so important, idea creation and making sure that you have a clear vision and mission for your life. Now, once you've got that, 
then what you want to do is create a business model around that. And this is what I help men do so that your business and the way that you're going to pay for your life is congruent with the lifestyle that you want. So meaning if you want to travel the world and you always want to be on the go, then most likely an online model is what's going to work for you. If you have a very specific mission locally, then most likely what you're doing is you're setting up a store or you're setting up something more locally. You have to decide where you want to go and then create a business model to support that vision. I've made that mistake. I've had successful businesses in the past, but I didn't really set it up for the lifestyle I wanted. And what it ended up happening is I ended up resenting my own business. Even though I was making a ton of money, I wasn't having the lifestyle I wanted. And then therefore I became resentful and started self-sabotaging that business. Much of our unconscious self-sabotaging comes from the fact that we don't like aspects of our life and therefore we sabotage other aspects so for instance if you don't if you really like the amount of money you're making but you hate what you're doing you'll eventually sabotage what you're doing because the money won't outweigh the pain of going to a job or into a business that you don't like now what you want to watch out for here what when you're launching your business or the thing that you want to keep in mind what's your main focus is sales and marketing the biggest challenge that most people have when they launch their business is cash flow. I don't have enough money. I don't have enough money to hire experts. I don't have enough money to hire uh, the people around me. What you want to do is you want to invest what money you do have, time and energy, into learning to sell your business. And this is the most important part. Once you know how to have a consistent way of gen once you have a consistent way of generating leads and enrolling people into your business, let's say you're a coach like me and you're enrolling people into your programs and you have a consistent way of doing that, now cash flow doesn't become such a worry. You know that you can go out, you know that you can make money. And what you want to do is feed that system so much where you push your business into disorder. So the fears, what stop people here at this phase is generally fear, not knowing enough. That's why education is so important because education conquers fear. Now, when I'm talking about education, I'm not necessarily talking about school. That could be part of the process. But what I'm really talking about is specific knowledge or specialized knowledge based upon what you need. So for example, if you're like, yeah, I'm launching my business or I'm having cash flow problems and I want to increase that, I want to know how to make an abundance of money, you need to get good at sales and marketing, which means you need to face your own fears around money, scarcity, asking for what you want, rejection. A lot of fears come up when it comes to promoting ourselves or promoting our businesses or our movements. And it's a big personal development jump. And that's why I highly recommend working with a coach, someone who can help you move through that phase, whether it's me or somebody that resonates with you. I only move through that phase after working with mentors who help me put the right systems in place, taught me how to sell, taught me how to market, how to enroll people, and have a consistent way of generating cash flow. Now, once you've got that and you've got your sales and marketing systems down, you're essentially going to push your business or your movement into a phase called disorder. Now, why do I call it disorder? This is when the problem flips from, I've got money coming in, I've got clients coming in, I've got people joining my movement. What I don't have is the infrastructure to handle it all. I actually have more work on my plate than I do time in the day. I have more, uh, I have to fulfill my obligations to my clients than I have time in the day or that I have resources for. And so this feels a bit like disorder. And how it, we know that you're in this phase is because you're running out of time. Time is your biggest challenge. So in this phase, money is your biggest challenge. In this phase, time is your biggest challenge. How am I going to fulfill all the uh, requests of my clients? How am I going to give top-notch service and still have a life? This is what I didn't do in my previous business. And that's why eventually I closed it down. Because I recognized, man, I've got all these clients, they're loving it, I'm loving working with them, 
But you know what I'm hating? Working 12 hours, seven days a week, not having a life of my own and not being able to delegate anything. And that's because I didn't know at that time how to go from disorder to order. And the way from disorder to order is actually systems. Write this down, system. Save yourself time, energy, money. This is where you have to start to grow your business strategically. And this is how you go from 50, 60, 100,000 a year to multiple six figures and seven figure business. You have to have systems. Systems allow you to be duplicatable. Systems allow you to expand and systems allow you to leverage yourself so that you stay focused on the high impact and high income activities and you build a team around you. So the difference between my last business and this business is systems. This business, uh, you know, within a few years, I was able to grow a six figure business. Now we're on the trajectory to multiple six figures and, and a seven figure business. And the main reason why is because I'm putting my business in order. So I've got a video editor on board now. Now I've got a copywriter on board. Now I have a graphics and IT person. I've hired a marketing company to come in and do SEO. I've learned to sell and make money through sales and marketing, keep myself focused on the high impact activities, drive my business into disorder, and then put order into that business by implementing systems. By the way, 90% of businesses fail in these two phases, or even worse, they just get stuck there and they never leave it. And this becomes their life. Order now brings back time. Now you start to have time and money. And here, at order is where you can really focus on quality control. Now, the challenge with order is that it could become boring because order means repetition. It means doing the same things over and over again. And that essentially can become boring for a lot of us, especially in a world where we value new. Uh, I learned a new skill. I learned a new platform. I learned a new, uh, 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 you know, I've got a new TV, a new car. What we very rarely value, but which is actual wealth, is old. I've done the same thing for five years straight, and I'm so undeniably good at it that people are willing to pay me for it. Now, when I'm saying me, I mean you. What is it that you're willing to do over and over and over again? What skill are you willing to develop that's so undeniably good that people will be willing to pay you for it? You see, to make money, you have to have value. You have to be bringing value to the table. And to bring value to the table, it means you've developed a skill set in which people are willing to pay for. In my case, I've built up this, the skill set and the systems in helping men master their sexual energy in being powerhouses in the bedroom. And now I'm helping men because I've been doing this for years for myself and men as well. But through leadership development, sales, marketing, business development. So these are skills that I've been working on for close to a decade, which has allowed me to build a six-figure business and now scale it up to a multiple six-figure and seven-figure business. What skill sets, what experience do you have that you can bring value to people? And can you, are you willing to put in the long term, rinse and repeat, do it over and over and over and over again so that you're so undeniably good at it that people are, li are literally willing to pay you thousands of dollars for it? Okay, Bruce Lee said, I'm not afraid of the man who's practiced a thousand kicks. I'm afraid of the man who's practiced one kick a thousand times. So here, the reason why most men never get into this place of order with their business or movements is because they don't value repetition and they're always changing what they're doing rather than sticking one thing out long enough to becoming so good at it and so well known for it that they literally have people lining up waiting to pay them thousands of dollars for it. Now, once you've got order and you've got your team 
and you've put your systems in place, you know that you can constantly sell, you know that you constantly have cash flow, you've worked out your business to numbers, you know right on a spreadsheet, oh, when I talk to 10 people, I sign up three people, and that means I'm earning $15,000 each month. Each month, I'm in reinvesting half of that back into my business or into other businesses to leverage and grow my net worth. Now you're in order, and now you can do what I call 10 times your growth. And this is where I help people get. I help them achieve all the way up to this point and then time takes care of the last one. 10 times means you are now in a position to exponentially grow. You've got access to cash flow. Your systems are in place. You've got access to capital, excess cash. And when you have excess cash, things become easier. Now you can invest in other businesses. Now you can invest in other marketing and, and sales systems. Now you can scale up and duplicate and, and 10 times what you've created. So if you've got a team of five and you're generating 200,000 a, a year, great. Take your team to 15 people and generate 2 million per year, right? This is to 10 times growth. But you need the systems and the processes and places to be able to do that. And then with time and consistency, you eventually reach power. And power means you're the top of the game. You're part of the 10% or 1% of your industry, 1% of what it is that you do in the world. And you're a serious influencer. When you say go left, not only do your people go left, the whole industry goes left. This is a great place to be if you want to have tremendous amounts of impact, if you want to leave a legacy and you want to make a ton of money and have a ton of influence in this world, then you have to go through these steps. So if you want to go through these steps, if you've got an idea or you're in the launch phase or in the disorder phase and you're looking to bring yourself up to order and 10 times your growth, 10 times your impact and income, then make sure you jump on a call with me, go book some time with me. We'll discuss where you're at, what my processes are to helping you achieve that 10 times growth uh, a result, how your sexual energy uh, is either helping you or diminishing you, and we can take the next steps from there. Thank you so much. I appreciate you tuning in. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. I'll see you on the next video.